I did a video a while back about coupling and it was on using these SMDs and how much coupling there was. Uh, and somebody said, hey, you need to compare that to an air core coil. And I thought, you know, that's fair enough. Probably should do that. So I grabbed a coil I have now. This is, uh, this is coupling 101. This is not coupling PhD. So I just grabbed this coil I had. It's wrapped up here. It's, yeah, it's got Litz wire up here. It's got plain wire down here. But what we're looking at is to see how much coupling there is just between this coil and this coil and because they are wound very close together. So uh, these are also close together. They are forced together and uh, they have very flat surfaces so there's not much distance. Somebody calculated about 5% uh, actual transmission. Uh, so we will, we will see. Uh, I'll check that number to be sure. But... If we look over here, our purple line is the upper coil and the yellow line is coming from our frequency generator. And right now, this is, I don't know, I would say that's a little bit over one and a half volts and this is about 3.3 .3 volts. So there's like a, you know, it's about half roughly, we'll call it half uh, loss between these two. We notice that the Voltages are the same down here. It's 500 millivolt scale, 500 millivolt scale. On this side, we have one megahertz. And let's, uh, let's just take a look at what happens to the coupling when we change the frequency. There's 1.1, 1.2. So at 1.2, it's actually kind of overcoupled. We're getting, we're getting more voltage out. Look what happens here. Wow, that kind of jumps off scale. So this is the upper one, the purple is the upper one, and it's kind of off scale. And yeah, it's still off scale, but notice what's happening is the frequency is shifting. So now it's like almost, well, here it is 180 degrees out of phase. So I thought that was interesting. This is at 1.5 megahertz over here. Let's see, we'll go up to the top end, which is like 1.6. So we're starting to come down again. But uh, yeah, very interesting. The coupling changes, the efficiency of the coupling changes as we change frequency. And now let's go back the other way. So this is back to one megahertz. So this is roughly 50%. This is 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 700K, let's call it that. It's easier to, yeah. So there's 600 kilohertz and there's 500 kilohertz. So that would be the bottom of the AM band. And as you can see, the coupling is changing rather radically. How do I know that which coil's which? Let me touch the... You can see it gets fuzzy. Let me go back up to one because it really affects it. If I do this, you can see, wow. So, the... Yeah, you can see that the uh, purple is the upper one for sure. Okay, so, yeah. Um, it is pretty evident that the air core coil, especially a larger diameter one like this, I think it's two inches, is definitely more efficient at coupling than something like this. But uh, that answers the question about, uh, let's compare this and this and see which one is more efficient. Okay, well that was it for this quick video. Uh, we know the answer now to how efficient this coupling is compared to our air core coil. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY crystal radio experimentation.